Hi there. My name is Tom Byfoot, editor of Dutch the Magazine, and today I want to talk about the new proposed Dutch nationality law. This is uh, my daughter Eddie's passport. It's a Dutch passport. And this is my other daughter Nikki's passport. It's a Canadian passport. Eddie and Nikki are two years apart. They live in the same house, they go to the same school, they eat the same dinner, and they do the same sports. Yet they have a different passport. And that's one of the quirks of Dutch nationality law. Eddie was born in Amsterdam and Nikki was born here in Canada. Dutch Minister of the Interior Lisbeth Spies wants to take away those quirks. She wants to make it impossible for anyone to have dual nationality next to the Dutch nationality. So you can't maintain your original nationality or you can't get a new nationality. And that's caused a lot of concern in the expatriate Dutch community all over the world. The reason for that is not as many people think pension rights. Because pension rights are not affected by nationality at all. I have been in Canada for 13 years now, and I could have been a Canadian citizen for 10 years already. Now, if I'd been British or Jamaican or American, I probably would have been a Canadian citizen already, because those countries allow dual nationality. The Netherlands does not, and that is odd. Even the Economist newspaper said that Holland is swimming against the stream. With increased globalization and more people moving across continents, dual nationality is uh, an issue that uh, is very important to a lot of people. Now, I'll give you one example. Um, imagine I get the dreaded phone call, and you know, given my age, it's not impossible that my mother needs urgent care back in the Netherlands. But my family live here in Canada. They are well integrated and their life goes on. They have jobs, they go to school. Now, if I would go back to the Netherlands as a Canadian citizen, I would not be allowed to stay there for more than 90 days. So I couldn't stay there long enough. Uh, on the other hand, as a Dutch citizen, I would not be allowed to leave Canada for more than six months. So I get into a real difficult situation. And it's not unusual for expatriates and immigrants to have a large number of their families still living back in the old country. So what do I do? Do I choose my mother and hang on to my Dutch passport? Or do I choose my family and hang on to my Canadian? That's a choice no government should force anyone to make. This is Tom Byfoot for Dutch the Magazine and Tulip TV.